I'm kind of like a big kid in a candy store right now. I just got back from taking some time off on vacation to find this huge, absolutely enormous Palomino Puma Destination Series just kind of hanging out back here behind my office. And might I add, this is a never seen before destination model. Typically the Destination Series for Puma do not have the additional loft area over the master bedroom in the back. This is the first for them. But I think the price point is really going to shock all you guys so go ahead pause the video here and let me know in the comment section what you think this huge 43 foot goliath of a destination model is going to cost i think you're going to be shocked well, let's get started yes i think some of you guys are really going to be shocked when you see the sales price that i'm going to show you for this absolutely beautiful rv once we get inside but coming at you 42 feet 10 inches of total length has a hitch weight right at 1700 pounds so i recommend towing it with at least something larger than a three quarter ton maybe a one ton or larger would safely get this thing to where you're wanting to go the main body of this thing is only 96 inches wide but you're at 13 feet four inches of total height so this thing is absolutely tall three total sides on board you can comfortably sleep about seven maybe even eight individuals we're gonna just kind of go around the living area, then we're gonna start in the kitchen before going all the way to the back and then stepping outside, going over a few things there. So if you'd like to view more additional photos, there is always a link to our website found in this video description. If the camper is not on our website whenever you're viewing the video, you're always welcome to reach out to us at the email address as well as the phone number that I'll leave in that video description as well. So solid surface countertops found in your kitchen area. You got the single basin undermount sink with a residential faucet. This is gonna be a 12 volt compressor fridge. So it's not like your traditional residential type fridge. It is exactly the same size though. Freezer's on the left, the fridge is on the, on the right. Couple of pullouts in the bottom. That's how it's gonna be locked in place while you're in transit. You got the much larger Greystone oven. This is probably one of the largest in the industries as far as the RV oven goes. This thing is perfect for this model. I would have liked to maybe have seen a little bit larger microwave. Typical 30 inch Greystone microwave. And some of your cabinets with the glass accent as well. So most of your storage is going to be located right over here to your left. Pretty cool little coffee prep area. Maybe a place for like a coffee pot or maybe a Keurig, something there. This is also going to be a GFI outlet, so that's also very nice. More additional storage. And this is going to be your pantry. Some adjustable shelves would have been a nice little added touch for that, in my opinion. So your air conditioning on board, you're going to have two different air conditioners. Both of them will be 15K. That's going to be one. It's also, you'll notice the vents as you go throughout the, the ceiling. These both are racetrack together. So if this one turns on, you'll feel it blowing all the way in the back. So this would be your view if you're sitting in your two theater seats, looking at your really nice 50 inch TV that does pull away from the wall. That right there is gonna be your electric fireplace. These produce around 30,000 BTUs of heat, but you don't have to have the heat on. You can just turn the heat off and utilize the lights maybe to assist your guests who are maybe moving around the RV. But speaking of heat, you'll notice a randomly placed four vents throughout the floor. You've got right at a 40,000 BTU furnace. So this is gonna be a sleeper sofa here. I'll try to maybe overlay another video showing you exactly what that looks like in the open position, but let's talk about some of the shades. The shades up on the front, plus the shades up top on the left and to the right are all gonna be on electric switch. This is probably gonna take a little bit longer than I expected. But you're not, you're not gonna have to really worry about jumping up there, trying to pull those down. I actually do not recommend doing that at all. Just come over here, press the button. I do believe if you were to grab those and actually pull up on it, you'd probably, probably break it. So I don't recommend doing that at all. Your slide box over here on the right is right at six foot two. So you're not really gonna have to worry about bumping your head if you're standing up at your table. Kind of a cool little ottoman. You can move this maybe over here to your living area for a place to kick up your feet, but it does have additional storage underneath it as well. And this is just a leaflet that is pulled out right now. No carpet found inside the RV. You've got more of a woven type material, which is really good. You know, if you're closer to a beach and you're wanting to keep the sand out of the carpet, that's really the, the way to go. 
And of course, these are your two theater seats. I feel like I've touched just about on everything in the living area. I feel like we should go ahead and make our way towards the back, go over the bathroom, and then make our way to the bedroom, and then upstairs. So all the controls to operate the RV, this is the on-demand water heater, so up, temperatures of upwards about 130 degrees. Really simple, easy system to operate. Don't let it intimidate you. So you do, in fact, again, have two air conditioners, but you're going to, only gonna have one thermostat. This is gonna control both of them. All of your light switches, your slide switches, and your tape monitoring station are here. So stepping inside, plastic foot flush toilet. This is a plastic two-piece insert shower. So I am six foot two. I stood inside the shower earlier. I had about four or five inches over my head. You got plenty of room. Some additional linen closet. Spin around. Your bathroom vanity. Your bathroom storage. And here's inside of your shower. Again, I'm six two. You still got plenty of room over your, your head. Just be cautious of the bar right there. So speaking of the toilet, I got confirmation from the factory that you can replace the plastic foot flush toilet and replace it with a residential type that would also remove the holding tanks on board so it would be just directly hard piped all the way through and through. Three piece glass shower, door, there is a seat for the ladies to shave their legs. And this is just a vent, kind of an odd place in my opinion to have a vent this close to the shower. What do you guys think? So let's make our way all the way upstairs now. So this is where you got your master bedroom leading upstairs. You have two different loft areas, one on the right, one on the left. This one's you're looking at a height of 48 inches compared to a lot of the competitors that only do 36. Life's an adventure. Enjoy the ride. Let's take a look. Steps are very nice to get up. They're very easy. Some carpet found up here. Plenty of headroom though. This is one that I can actually take a seat and sit here almost comfortably. Compared to the other ones that are only 36 inches, this one gives you a little bit more additional headroom. So you have 110 outlets and USB ports on both sides back there. TV connections are right over this way, so maybe you can set a larger TV on the ground. I wouldn't really recommend mounting one. That's the second air conditioner there, but notice the vents like we were talking, how if this one turns on, it will in fact blow all the way to the front. And that's your guest closet here. So look at the transition from the steps up. You're actually having another step, so you're not really having to be cautious of finding, trying to find where your legs are at if you're trying to come down. This loft over here though, you're looking at 36 inch ceiling height, really big mattress on this side. You still have the GFI outlet in 110, excuse me, a GFI outlet in the USB charger right here. And this is strange how they have a GFI all the way up here. I guess that's kind of a nice thing. But look at the view. Pretty good view if this was your side. More additional storage right here. And here's your view going all the way down the stairs. So, so far, you've seen two loft areas. You can maybe use that for one and a half bedroom. I wouldn't consider it two. Really, really nice living area. Very large appliances. Again, tankless water heater for your shower. Let's look at your master bedroom now. King size bed in the bedroom slide, but look at the space. This was shocking to me is how much room you actually have. So you're at least two feet of space on this side, at least two feet of space on that side of the bed. You do in fact have the shelf plus USB port on this side only. Your 110 outlets on this side. So if you have a CPAP machine, this will probably more than likely be your side of the bed. Serta mattress, some additional storage under the bed also. Look at the room at the foot of the bed, just huge. I like the fact that they have removed the dresser at the foot of the bed, replacing it with more of a kind of a desk. I don't know, you could call this a dresser in some way little chair some people might not like that though they probably would have preferred honestly the extra storage considering these destination models are for full-time living stackable washer and dryer ceiling height so you do have a drop frame construction you step down about 12 inches but again i think you're right at six foot eight maybe seven feet tall ceilings actually in the bedroom here plenty of room and tv connections that's kind of an odd place to put it 
There's a sticker for TV backer, plus your coax connection and your 110 outlet. Exterior door. So let's look at the sales price. So if you have not done so, let me know in the comments what you think all of this thing would cost. Not the MSRP. What do you think is a good sales price for this new 2024 model? Front living layout, 42 feet, 10 inches long. I mean, it's just, it's just gonna be mind blowing. Take a look. So let me know if you were right about your sales price or how far off you really are. That to me, oh my goodness, I've been, I've been showing and dealing with RVs now for probably seven and a half years since retiring from the army. And I think this is like what I would call more bang for your buck. If you're gonna put this thing in place and not move it, or maybe just move it every now and then, I think you're gonna get your money's worth for sure out of the new 2024 Palomino Puma 402. And this right here is gonna be your MSRP sheet. Maybe you can pause it and read everything that's actually built in, two different pages. MSRP of 78,000. $72.35. So between the prices that used to be like unrealistic with RVs, I think they're finally starting to come back down. I'm really, really enjoying the changes that I'm seeing for all the 2024 models as they start to come in. So if you have not done so yet, leave me a comment telling me what you think of the new, never seen before, Palomino Puma Destination Series. Or if you haven't, or if you're not interested in on anything that's on the outside, go ahead and leave me a couple of thumbs up. All your interactions with the videos help me out more than you guys really know. So coming around to the front, again, the hitch weight, 1,700 pounds right here on the bed, excuse me, on the ball of your truck. So just make sure you're checking the load and tow capacity of your vehicle before purchasing this model or have a professional actually deliver it for you. You do in fact have the two larger propane tanks on the front, but I one recommendation, one recommendation, if you're gonna be staying in place for a while and your resort allows it, maybe get a larger tank and set it in place and just run it that way so you're not replacing these tanks often. Once the camper is sold, we will install a battery housing right here and your battery disconnect switch is located between the frame. Once you get it in place, go ahead and turn off your battery to save all the juice. This camper is gonna be leveled or should I say stabilized, from two sets of manual scissor jacks. Excuse me, I just had lunch. You have a set on the front plus a set on the back. Rack and pinion slide. Rack and pinion slide. But me personally, I would have liked to have seen another set of jacks somewhere, if not in front of or behind the wheels, just to make this huge thing a little bit more sturdy. That's going to be the exhaust for your 40,000 BTU furnace, your tire and wheel package, 7,000 pound axles. You're riding on some Chinese brand tire for sure, ST23580R16. Tires are always the first thing that seems to go when you get these new RVs. It's always the first thing that someone really wants to upgrade. It's of course always going to be the tires. Sewer connections on board, you have two different ones. So this is from the toilet and maybe a shower sink. There's your gray handle. A shot of your underbelly that is in fact completely enclosed. But all the way back here in the back, you have another sewer connection. Let me show you this first. Really cool little storage area on the, on the outside. You can maybe fit a toolbox or maybe saw, uh, I've seen some, some customers have like a plastic tote with all their sewer lines and their water lines and some rubber gloves. Good place for that. That's the storage area, probably locked underneath the bed. And this is the second outlet for your sewer. Just a gray handle on this one. Drop frame construction back from the back does not does make it appear to be a little low to the ground. Just to give you an idea on how close that thing sits. On demand, tankless water heater. I do believe 42,000 BTU. You're never going to run out of hot water for sure. Fully walkable roof. You actually have the ladder mounted on the back. That's very nice. It is prepped to receive. There we go. Prepped to receive a blindside camera. Pretty easy system. It's just plug and play. Outside shower. 
city water connection black tank flush again if you happen to order this coach replacing the toilet those holding tanks will be removed and it's just going to be hard piped in that's the dryer vent led tank led tail lights really big awning 21 feet in length slide toppers would have been a nice touch to have as well but what do you guys think i absolutely love this thing for the price point for all the amenities that it has inside of it for what my customers are looking to do with these things this thing this one seems to fit absolutely perfectly i'm a little tongue twisted at the moment i just can't believe all the things that this thing has inside of it hope you guys like what you've seen continue to like and subscribe come see us